if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. God, time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.40 a.m. Oh, I've been working since 8 a.m. I don't feel like working no more. Baby, you wanna go out to eat? Sure. Alexa, turn my lights off. Okay. Yeah. What's up, y'all? So I know y'all could get valet, you know what I'm saying? You can go out to eat, get valet. That's cute. But can you do it anytime you want to? You dig what I'm saying? He about to open the door for you, baby. <laughs> Good, how are you? See y'all, I know y'all can go eat out wherever you please, right? But the question is, do you get paid for it? Do you get paid to live this lifestyle you wanna live? Cause I do. This meal is about to cost me about $200. I'm gonna get it back. That's the whole point. Get that check and get it right back. Need that. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Ah, let's taste the steak. Mm. Oh, look at that. You can just dive right in. Let me uh, dip it over in. I'm gonna dip it over in. Mm. 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 Now let's not get anything misconstrued. Before I did any of that, I had to wake up early. I had to read a book to make sure I get my mind ready for the day. I had to meditate. I had to work out. I had to make sure I was prepared for the day also so I could prepare for my night when I live stream for y'all as well. Y'all listen, I'm not gonna keep you long, but I want you to know that I'm starting Crown Creators Academy March 17th. That is the day that your lives can change. I just need you to sign up and hear me out. You dig what I'm saying? All I need is you. All I need is you. I got enough up here to supply you with whatever it is you need. Just give me a chance. I love y'all, man. See y'all March 17th. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you league? So, <sighs> child, Neek done made a video, and it's titled, Responding to My Baby Mama. <laughs> y'all, listen. Before we go, before we even get into this, man, make sure y'all subscribe to my website, crowncreatorsacademy.com to tap in this Friday. We are uh, releasing my academy to teach y'all how to do YouTube. Um, y'all, it's nothing you need to subscribe except but to subscribe. A couple of y'all like, what I need? Y'all been asking me to teach y'all how to do YouTube. Like, what? I want to do YouTube. What I got to do? I'm asking you to put in your email and you still talking about what I got to do. <laughs> Come on, friend. What I need. Nothing. Yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Need yourself. Jesus Christ. It's dropping on Friday, y'all. Come on now. We got to do better than that. Let's hear what Neek talking about. Out to get him or I'm uh, purposely doing stuff out of spite. Oh. And thank you. What's up, my beauties? It's your girl, Nika, and I'm back with another video. I feel like I say that every time, so even on this video, I have to say, like, this video is going to be very short and sweet. Like, I'm going to just get straight to the point with everything I have to say um, with what's been going on. And, yeah, I just feel like I'm, I feel like, um, I feel like I just feel tried in a way because oh, it's Lord, like no matter tried. what I do, like, it could be the smallest thing. It could be me not even intentionally trying to do something. It could be me talking about my life. It could be me just speaking on my own experiences. Like, he, like, Splane will always forever find a way to, like, make it seem like I'm trying, like, I'm out to get him or I'm purposely doing stuff out of spite. Like, at this point, it's like I'm not even allowed to speak on shit that happens in my life without this, like. Okay. So a lot of y'all was saying to me that I was loud and wrong because I said Germany and not Greece. I don't give a fuck if it was Africa. I was absolutely on her side and I said if she wanted to take her child to Germany, Africa, Belgium, uh, Maldives, hello, Jamaica, she can. I was on her side. So shut the fuck up. Number one. Number two. It's a difference between saying, yeah, so I'm about to get my son on the weekends and saying, 
uh, I'm the only one that's capable of being able to pick up my, that shade. And see, that's why I don't fuck with people. Cause see y'all try, th people try and throw shade and call it sun. You try to throw shade and like, act like it's, you know, sunny outside or try to throw shade and call it rain. No bitch shade is shade. And that was shady point blank period. <laughs> he ain't wrong for peeping that she threw some shade. She ain't wrong for taking that baby to fucking Belgium, Africa, Germany, Greece, uh, Bethlehem. Okay. Bartholomew. I don't care. She wasn't wrong for that. I am not biased. If y'all don't get that yet, but anyway, we can finish him blowing it out of proportion and getting extra sensitive about it. So all in all, going out of this whole situation being started, shady. if you don't know, now you know, this whole situation started basically because I made a video, I was vlogging, I made a video which I was expressing how much I miss Kaiser. I explained where he was and our schedules at the time, which I seen nothing wrong with because I've seen both my baby daddy, I, I seen, I seen <clears throat> Splain and his whole other side, like I seen explain like it's, it's it's really nothing to talk about honestly like it was just a very short like me basically it ain't what you say is how you say it that's why she can't say it i mean um like i obviously i'm the only one capable Of picking him up. Y'all, that was shade. And if you try and call it sun or rain, you ain't gonna understand where I'm coming from anyway. Explaining the schedule. Never have I, never would I have thought that it would have been blown up to where it's make it seem like, oh, I was saying something shady or I was trying to be evil towards him. I feel like this man is so sensitive, y'all. And I don't even be having to say nothing. It's like, I can't control what people... I can't what keep control what people say after like respond to what I say. You're right. But you can control how you say it. He not capable. People looking at him on the internet like, I mean, shit, he doing videos every day. He buying these shoes. He looking nice in his pictures, his his crib looked nice. He got these Mac computers. He providing for his family. Why isn't he capable of dropping this child off? That would raise a question for some. But all right. Like, I'm not going to just keep watching what I say and walking on eggshells because you sensitive and you can't, you know, you can't handle the internet. Like, it, it's, it's honestly just not my fault. And I feel like I spare this man so much like, I spare him with everything because at the end of the day, I feel like this shit is so lame. Like, this shit makes me cringe, like, even sitting up the camera to have to talk about co parents to have to talk about family situations, like, our family problems. Like, this shit is so childish and lame to me. And the fact that you took a whole video, like, a whole, I feel like this shit could have been text, honestly. But at the same time, it's just like, I'm not finna keep letting you pop. I never stand up to my- Now you want him to text you. For myself when it comes to explaining because I feel like we are family at the end of the day I would never go online And try to bash you try to say anything about you as a father try to say Anything about you in any type of way y'all have never seen me this man didn't got on live Like he didn't got on live with Corey Car and Carmen Like and I still ain't say nothing trying to expose me trying to make y'all see the person that I really am. Like this nigga do so many, so much op shit. It's just like so much, it's like bitch made shit. Like that's why I just feel like this shit is just so lame. And for you to get online and make a whole fucking 20 minute long video on me and trying to belittle me as a parent, trying to belittle me as a mother, trying to make it seem like I don't do, it's all. Okay. How did he belittle her as a parent? Without feeling as though she belittled him as a parent. What was the point of her saying? I got to go to the video. Always what Nick don't do. I got to have proof I mean? for y'all. Uh, yeah. Oh, Nick do this on purpose. Nick don't do that. I feel like I'm a, I'm a great fucking baby mama. I'm easy. I don't be with the bullshit. 
You I, you had me come pick up my child in an hour. Talking about, uh, yeah, you need to go pick your child up. He'll be there in an hour. That's not good baby mama uh, material, y'all. I'm sorry. That's not cool. That's not good co-parenting. That's not right. <laughs> now, y'all going to go back to uh, her talking about him uh, doing whatever he did with Carmen and Corey on the live. Both of them was wrong as hell for what they did to each other around that whole breakup situation, which is over and done with. I have nothing to say about that. That shit was childish on both ends. Both of them was tripping. I told y'all a long time ago, King did that shit to himself. But I don't. Y'all gonna call me biased, so what? I keep you from your child. Like, I, I be trying my best to be an adult about every situation. Like, I feel like this man try to shit on me every chance he get and try to tell the world, like, want the world to see me as a bad person so bad. I feel like he got so much hate in his heart for me. And, and, and I don't even, it's like, I just feel so sorry like for him. Really it's just, he got so much hate built up, like, in his heart about me. It's just sad. So, I'm just going to address a few things. Um, I'm not coming on here because I ain't got to prove shit. I know I'm a good mama. But <laughs> mama. I just hate when people try to make it seem like something that is not, when it's really not that deep. Okay. First of all, um... Splain came to me and basically said that he wanted Casa to go to school. Well, this shit is like, I was, he wanted Casa to go to school. She's so aggravated talking uh, about this. From my house. So he wanted to, you know, have a stable environment for Casa to go to school, whatever the case may be. That's fine with me. Like, I've always stayed with my mom. Like, I I, I, I don't mind having Casa. Like, I, like I said in the video, I miss my baby on weekends when he gone for two days. I, I love having him every day. Like, I love doing the mom shit. Like, so... He was like, oh, I think he should stay with you for, um, you know, for the weekends, the weekdays. I'm like, fine. He came up with that schedule. He like, said he did. And I don't have a problem with that schedule. Like, I'm fine with it. I'm like, okay, so why why can't you take him to school? Why? What is the big problem with him taking him to school? And he had every excuse in the book why he could not take Kaza to school. Y'all, when Kaza was in, he lives in Katy. When Kaza was in school. In Katy, I was living in Houston. I had to drive. It wasn't an hour, y'all. It's not an hour. I had to drive 30 minutes every day to take Kaza to school, uh -huh. which is fine. I didn't have a problem with taking Kaza to school that far. It didn't matter to me because that's it, it makes a routine. You wake up early in the morning, baby. You can wake up at 7:30. Just take your kid to school, grab some Starbucks. It gets your Start day started. Your day. I don't have a problem doing that. So. <laughs> I used to take Kaiser to school. I decided to take Kaiser out of that school because I felt like he wasn't learning. Um, I feel like he wasn't learning. They had kids working at that school. Both of them are having the same issue. But I just want to go back real quick. Because, <laughs> you know, she said that she feels as though she's talking about this and it shouldn't be all over the Internet and all of that. I want to tell y'all why this shit is on the Internet. I want y'all to hear it anyway. Okay. All week, every week until the weekend. He goes with his dad two days out of the week. So I remember last time I was telling y'all that we did. Uh -huh. He stays with me all week, every week until the weekend. He goes with his dad two days out of the week. So I remember last time. I was telling y'all that we did um, week by week, but now since he goes to school over here, uh -huh. or since I'm the only one child capable of taking him to school. So, y'all, that is shade. That causes attention, and that causes people to start commenting, and then that causes people to go his way. Okay, he send them back her way, and now she like, what the fuck? You ain't even have to start all this shit. You trying to make it seem like I'm a bad parent. <laughs> and now, because she he felt as though she was giving him a shot. Now she, he feel like she giving him a, her a shot. Well, she she's feel like he's giving her a shot. And now they both complaining about the same thing. I don't feel like Kaza was learning at this school. So I took him out of this one. Wanted him to be closer to my house. I didn't have no problem with driving back and forth. King swear he ain't have a problem with driving back and forth. But now it's a problem. Girl, none of this should have been on the internet. And the only reason why it is, is because of how she said it. King said that Neek 
get uh the baby during the week and he get them on the weekends. Not because she she's capable, not because she's incapable, just because she get them during the week and he get them on the weekends. Y'all, you can say all you want that that wasn't shade, but y'all the ones who be throwing shade and throw rocks and hide your hand. I'm not with that shit. I can't fuck with nobody because people love to do that shit. And I see it. That's shady as hell. Because <laughs> I'm the only one child who uh capable of taking them to school. It wasn't needed. Period. But I... Um, it was easy access to get inside of the school. Like, my son, they got all this dangerous shit, crazy shit happening in the world. Y'all think I'm finna... I don't take my... And I feel her on that. ...son lightly at all. I don't take his safety lightly. I don't like when people who are, like, known... I mean, like, we're very known people, whether we know it. Like, we're influencers. I feel like Kaiser is just as known as me. I don't mm -hmm. like him being in places where I feel like people are, you know, using him or, like, treating him a certain way at school because of who he is. And that's just the workers. Like, when I used to go in there, I used to have... And no shade to them. It's just, like, I wanted my son in a better school. I wanted him to be able to, like, his school to be more secure. And Katie, his school was not locked. I feel like anybody could just, I think about crazy shit, so I feel like anybody could have just walked in, like, they That's a valid reason to move a school. King should have said that shit. They let, some, I sent my brother to go get Kaiser from school. My brother had never been at the school before. Um, nothing. They ended up letting my brother... They didn't even call me and make sure it was okay. He just said he was here for Kaza Johnson. And they gave Kaza to my brother. Like, well, that could have been anybody. It's just a lot of shit in his old school that rubbed me the wrong way that I didn't feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, I asked my very known friends, my very known wealthy friends, people that's kind of like on the same level as me. I asked around. I'm like, what's the best school for your kids, like what what school do you take your kids to? I ended up finding an amazing school, y'all. I I I found I found an amazing school in Houston. It just happened to be in Houston. It just happened to be closer to me, which was fine because when when Casa was at Splain House, he wasn't even taking him to school in Katy. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I ended up finding Casa another school to go. That's the shit you talk about. Go to, which is fine because I was the only one taking Casa to school. I'm the only one paying for school. Uh Now, this is when the conversation, girl, can't even talk. This is when the conversation changes. <laughs> Queen said this, Clarence, not Queen, Clarence said this before. He said, Chris, you complaining about not knowing about the graduation, nigga. When the last time you paid for a school bill? Uh, do you even know how much it costs? So King ain't paying for the school? Okay. I Y'all, I don't ask from shit from this man, and this is what really pisses me off. That would have pissed me off. She got the right to be mad. <laughs> I don't ask for shit. Like, he ain't got to do a damn thing for Kaza, but spend time for, with Kaza. And and when he at your house, take him to school. Like, I pay $1,500 a month for my Woo! son to go to a great school. Nope. Where they teach him stuff. Where the school is very locked down, secure. You got to get through three doors. And I will say, that was her choice of the school. She was going to have to pay. However... I digress. Doors. You got to get through three doors just to get inside, inside of three super big molded doors to even get inside of the school. Like, I make sure that his school is, like, A1. My son goes to the best, one of the best, like, schools in Houston. Right. And this man tried to put it like, oh, he changed it to his school. And it's so far away from me. Y'all. Not only that, he said in a new school, he ain't learning nothing. Mm-mm. <laughs> I, when he said this online, I'm like, can't be. This nigga can't just be sitting on here lying like this. This, this, this shit is just getting out of hand. I mapped Splain address, the place he stays at right now, from my son's school. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to put his address out there, but I did took a screenshot. The shit is exactly fucking 28 minutes away. Now, King. <laughs> uh. 
What the fuck? 28 minutes? 28 minutes, King! I can't. I, next time, I'm going to wait till the woman make the video because so many things are adding up right now. Um, I'm going to just say publicly, I apologize. I didn't know it took 28 minutes for him to go get that child. He act like you moved an hour and a half away. And he about to, ain't he looking for houses in Austin, Texas? Which still ain't close. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Never it's 28 mind. minutes away. Stop trying to make it seem like the school an hour away. Like, oh, you got to spend so much gas. Yeah, I pay no, for I every tripping. activity cost. Of Mind week. you. This nigga <clears throat> complained about gas and she paid 1500 for the school. Hey. <laughs> school every field trip he go with i pay for his school monthly i never asked for help i asked for help one time oh this man said he was not paying for it oh after God. that if i want my son to go to this school i'm gonna pay for it i don't give a fuck because i know he gonna learn more at this school he's gonna be more secure and i'm not gonna have to worry about his <sighs> safety and whoever picking him up the school is a, a a1 school and a lot of my known friends and a lot of my super known friends that have kids go to the same exact school. Like I take care of cousin. I don't, and it's not like I'm looking for a pat on the back for it. Like you don't never see me throwing in nobody face. What the fuck I do? This man don't help me with nothing financially. And I don't, I don't care. Cause I know people not as, you know, able, but don't get on here on the lines with some old, it's gas money to, to bring your son to school. Especially 28 minutes. Now, I'm thinking they live, like, on total opposites of, like, like, it's, this shit is, like, if I'm in Kennesaw and I got to drop my kid off to school in McDonough, that's like an hour and a half drive, especially with traffic. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that every day. But it sounds like <laughs> he going from Kennesaw to Smyrna. That ain't too far. You know what I'm saying? A little 30 minute, a little one, two, a little three, four. You know what I'm saying? He did. He really made it seem like it was a whole hour. <sighs> and then added up four. <laughs> like you can go drive around, roll Lord around all mercy. day, doing whatever the fuck you else, whatever else you want to do. Mm. So his whole excuse of not wanting to keep Kaza during the week is because, oh, well, um, Lord have mercy. I just don't have time. My my, I can't fit in my schedule. Like I can't fit oh, in my schedule no, to King. bring him to school. That takes too much time out of my day oh, to bring no, him to school. King. So he can stay over there, which is fine. I don't give a fuck. I can keep my fucking son every day of the motherfucking year. I would not give a fuck, and I would do it without complaining because that's just the bitch I. I, I mean, not that's the bitch I, that's just the mom I am. It really don't matter. But don't try to sit on here like oh. I deal with so much shit. I know bitches out here giving their baby daddies a hard ass time. That's a fact. I let this man make a schedule. I agree to everything he say. Don't try to get on here and make it seem like I'm such a hard ass baby mama. Like they really, you not on child support. You ain't gotta pay shit. Oh god. All I ask you to do is when your when your son at your house, y'all. I'm paying for this school. We doing week by week. I'm paying for the school. This this money coming out of my pocket. Which, of course, this is my son. I don't care. But at the same time, this money coming out of my pocket. When Casa going over there a week. Listen, the only thing I got to say about that is if she choose the school and that's if she choose the school and that's out of his, I guess, range financially, then she would have the choice to say, all right, fuck it. You don't want to pay. I'm going to pay. I am definitely that person. You don't want to pay. I pay. But you absolutely going to pick him up from school. And I ain't giving you no gas. So absolutely. I agree with her on that. He don't 100%. take cause of school because he's saying, oh, well, um, I'm not going to take him to no school that's an hour away. Bitch, the school is 30 minutes away. I'm not <laughs> going to take him to no school that's an hour away. It takes too much time out of my day. I have a schedule. I have stuff that needs to be done. I can't pay for gas money. I'm saying, explain, I don't care. I pay for the school. Just take him to school. And yeah. that was the, one of the main reasons why. And it sounded like his main reason was gas. No, 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 no. Because not even gas, time. And I... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because if I got to go pick up my child from school, that's what I'm going to have to do. If I got to go take him to school, that's what I'm going to have to do. TT doing it right now, to be exact. She got to do it every day. 
She go pick up one, bring back, come back. It's, it's a lot. And that's a whole process that she take about an hour and a half to do. And they live, they eat school right up the street from us. Both schools. We did that intentionally. But the dad situation, we let him do what he do. That's what she doing. She let him do what he do. But don't come complaining to me about gas. I, I, don't, I don't need you picking him up from school and all that shit. But absolutely don't complain to me about gas, about nothing. About nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm taking care of everything else. Ooh, girl. That's a lot. I'm like, why is he not in school? Every time he would go over there for the week, he would miss a whole week of school oh. just because Swain didn't feel like it or he didn't have it in his schedule to take cons out of school. Not when I'm paying $1,500. He wouldn't be going to his dad's house during the week then. Oh, shit. The shit is just weird. Like... <sighs> And then, mind you, this whole situation was about the school. Why are you bringing up what I do with my son? What type of mom? Y'all, I'm telling you, this man will find anything. And this shit is so childish that I have to sit up here and fucking have a family conference. Like, we, we got to do this shit on the internet. This shit is so lame. It's so lame to me. I still second the fact that she didn't have to say that he wasn't capable. She did this to herself. You're over here explaining this shit to us because you went, came to the internet and said that the nigga was incapable. Now, however, even however, comma, even if it was some truth to that, it was still shade. Cause you know, a, uh, I'm going to say allegedly he may not have gas to take him back and forth to school and, or he may not have the time or he's saying he don't have the time. Either way, that wasn't none of our business. He said that he get him on the weekend, you get him during the week. It is what it is. He ain't say nothing extra. It's it's here because of you. I, I don't care what y'all say about that. It was no need for the shade. And obviously she being shady because she feels some type of way. <laughs> and as she should. She not getting help. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly from what she's saying. She not getting help. And you know what I'm saying? All that. So none of this should be here. Though. <sighs> Mess. What? What would I look like? I travel, baby. See? I have a good time. I live a great life. We know, friend. Um, I travel. And why can't my son travel with me? Now, like this absolutely uh, agree with her 100% on that. I don't need y'all to tell me that the, the nigga is in Germany, Belgium, or Greece. Because I don't give a fuck where he at. If she decides she want to take him to Zimbabwe, she paid for the passport, he can go, period. Now, y'all chill out on, on, on me in the comments with that. I, I'm on her side 100% with that, if y'all can't hear. Man, he sits up there and he just so mad that he sit up there and make a... He makes a, a a problem with everything. This man, the whole time last year, I would be going to France, and I couldn't take cards. I wanted to take cards so bad, but I was listening. I was trying to listen to, oh, you know, I was trying to be a good co-parent. I was trying to, like, not make it in a toxic way. He telling me, Kaza can't go. Kaza, he would be like, you oh, can't tell Kaza, Kaza can't, can't go. go. What, you want to bring him so he can go lay up with another nigga? Oh, see? He wasn't saying that King was saying in this, in his video, he was saying that he don't want him to go. Cause he, <laughs> now that makes sense. Cause for him to say, I don't want Kaza to go because he bad. And you know, when he bad, he doing this and that, like I can't drive up there or come up 13 hour flight because he bad. And everybody including me was like, <laughs> what him being bad? Got to do with him going to Belgium, Germany, Zimbabwe, or Africa. You get what I'm saying? So, I completely understand her 100% on that. Because, baby, if it's my week, he going with me. This my man. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, this my man. And if I... I so, I didn't bring Kaiser the whole time in France because Flame was giving me such a hard time about him going out of the country with me. Mind you, I've been to this place multiple times. I know it's probably one of the safest places in like one of the safest places in the world honestly more safe like it was a good place i was familiar with the place i went there several times he was still giving me hard times which i don't what does me laying up 
what a nigga have to do with me taking my son out of the country. Absolutely. And King, why the hell you ain't include that part in your video? I mean, this is alleged, but if, if, if allegedly that did happen, if you don't go sit your ass down and if she making little more remarks about his baby, that's wrong too. Allegedly. Cause now y'all, both of y'all just being petty. It's a mess. Like, come on now. What are you talking about? So I didn't take Kaza. I'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not leaving my son. I feel like if I'm out here experiencing the world and traveling the world, I feel like my son should be able to do the same Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Mind you, I had help from my mom. My mom went out there with me. It was a family vacation. I took my son because I wanted to take my son. If I didn't take my son, this man will put it out on the on whatever. Oh, if y'all, if I didn't try to take Kaza, he would be like, oh, so you... You don't want to take Kaiser, but you want to go to Greece. Why do you keep going to Greece? Like, it's going to always be something. I can never win. Like, it's a, it's a lose-lose situation. I take Kaiser to Greece with me because I want my son with me. Oh, you taking him out of the country. It's dangerous. Don't I want yeah, one nah, more? Yeah, fuck that. Or I don't That's take fear. Him, I leave him at He living in fear in that one. So you're going you gonna, to you gonna lose that battle every time. At home. Oh, you leaving him at home? You trying to do this? You trying to do that? It's like a lose lose situation. This nigga is always gonna complain about something. This man cannot be. He gonna always find something wrong with everything I everything I do. It's just it's just annoying, honestly. So boom, it was that situation. I feel like I want if I want to take my son out of the country, I could take my damn son out of the yes, country. Yes, you can. I go out the country several times. It's not my fault that you can't go out the country. It's not my fault Period. that it, it, it's. This is the life I live. I want my she son to live the that. same life that I live. Yeah. All in all, I hope I didn't miss anything. I just feel like I it should just the second never thing. just hit the media. <laughs> and I always take accountability for the the stuff that I speak on. But in this, no, you don't take accountability for the shade. That's what you don't do. Situation. I honestly don't feel like I was wrong. I feel like this man is picking with me, and I feel like that's just some bitch. Y'all picking with each other. And if it's gonna be some bitch shit, then both of y'all is bitching. Because it was no need for you to come on the internet and say, if she would have said, it's it's a difference in talking, saying, hell yeah, um, child, I got him during the week. His daddy got him on the weekends, and we got to do da 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 and da da da. No, 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 man. You went so shady with it, knowing damn well, you know, his situation, you know, and. That's why you was throwing shade on it, because you don't like it. <laughs> you don't like the fact that he ain't going to have. You don't like the fact that he complaining about gas. You don't like the fact that he complaining at all. You're like, nigga, I'm paying for all this shit. Boy, yeah, shut the fuck up. That's the problem. And that's why he over there feeling <laughs> disrespected and you calling him out his name and all that, because you feel like you more of a man right now. Let's call it Let's call it what it is, y'all. That's, that's what it is. She feel as though, like, she holding her nuts up right now. Because she up, which is the truth. She is up. That's why she able to handle these things. Moms, boy, when I, I've, I just watch it. When they, when, they, when they back against the wall, boy, they get from off that motherfucker. They end up in front of you. You get what I'm saying? You in front of them what they back up against the wall, but then yours end up against the wall, nigga. For real. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the strength of a woman. And that's what she's showing today. And that's why she's saying what she's saying. But, sis, you got to know you started it. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. She started do. it. Like, why pick on your baby mama? I feel like at the end of the day, we supposed you to You pick be it on him. Like, when I'm going against everybody in the world, like, I expect everybody to put their two cents in. Every time I'm going through something, this man is throwing shots at me on the internet. Like, just constantly trying to drag his baby mama down. Like... It just give hater vibes. Like, just leave me the fuck alone. I can't speak on my life. I can't do no story times. I can't do nothing. I've only, I've never belittled this man as a parent. I've never tried to shit on him. Like, I only speak about the stuff that happens in my life. It's not my fault that you did these things to me. And people react to these things. These are things, like, if I did something and you was able to tell a story time, Cool, kumbaya. It wouldn't be no cool and it wouldn't be no kumbaya. And she knows that. That's why she responded to this video. The difference is he's obviously done more shit.
You know what I'm saying? Girl. I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I Listen, King brought this on himself in general for how he treated her in that relationship. Let's just call a spade a spade. And, um, you know, she is going through this situation because she throwing shade on the nigga. Obviously, they both, from what she's saying, is being shady to each other. Well, she don't want to own up to her shady part. She's acting as if she, when it comes, it seemed like um, Neek holds a lot of accountability until it's about the shade. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't like people, y'all. People love to be shady and then act like <laughs> act like they your friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you fuck with me in my face, but you don't fuck with me in everybody else's face. You know what I'm saying? That's that shady shit. No, no, no. If you're going to be shady, just go ahead and say what it is. Unless you just didn't mean it like that. Because you can also say, because especially me, I say some shit not even realize it. Like, oh, damn. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. That's accountability. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's not what she doing. She like, I ain't do shit. I ain't start shit. Fuck that nigga. You know? Take accountability for my actions and keep it fucking pushing. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I, and I try not to speak on anything. But I can't even speak on my son's schedule. It's not that deep. Like, this nigga is waiting on a viral moment, waiting on a moment to just, to just post the video and, oh, she's not this person she seems to be. I'm a great-ass baby mama. Fucking, whew. You don't gotta, you don't, I don't ask for shit. I don't force you to keep your son. I let you see your son all the time. And I'm still getting, like, you still gunning for me. It's like, y'all, he would do anything to, like, see me lose in some way. It's it's weird. So that's why I tweeted, like, oh, I feel like I got a baby mama. Because I'm going through, like, baby mama shit. Like, this shit is just, we too old to be talking about this shit online. I don't like talking about my son. I Every time y'all hear me talk about co-parenting, I'm like, oh, shit's good. Shit's gravy. Even when it's not gravy. Even when it's not good. You will never hear me. You would have never heard me online talk about our serious problems problems all i said was this is the schedule now i'm the only one capable of taking cause of school which he told me multiple times that he's not doing it i i he was at cause house i'm begging him to take cause of school i said well, my brother will come and pick him up i'm paying for school that's wasting my money please take him to school he like i ain't taking him to school it's your fault it's your job as a mother to make sure he at school Wow. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. That was if you was the one bringing home the bacon, gang. But you not. She paying for the school. I'm going to need you to take her. Take him. Yeah, nah, he tripping. What are you talking about? He tripping. Like, he what are you talking tripping. about? tripping. And the school is 30 minutes away from his house. 28 minutes to be exact. I mapped the shit because I'm like, am I tripping? Or this nigga just lying? Just dead face ass lying. It, it's, it's weird. So the school is 30 minutes away from his house. He just chooses not to take cause of school because he said he can't fit it in his schedule. Mind you, this man got time to do everything else. Swim lessons. Gymnastics. Karate, you got you got time to do all these things, but you just can't take your son to school, which is fine. He can stay. Swim lessons, gymnastics. <clears throat> Maybe that was a joke. With me during the week, <clears throat> but don't get online trying to put on this show like gas is high when you don't even pay for the school, baby. I agree. And no, and, and I asked him multiple times. I said, you go find a school that's just as good as college school. And I don't mind putting him in the middle. But I'm not going to take my son. I'm not going to keep jumping my son from school to school to school. This is a great-ass school. Uh -oh. I'm going to go to one of the number one schools in Houston. Come on now. I'm paying $1,500 a fucking month for my son to go to this school. All you got to do is get your ass up and take him to the school. Shit is annoying. Like, I'm not going to keep... All in all... <laughs> That's all. She had to calm herself down, y'all. I have to say about the situation. I'm not speaking on it no more. It's cool. I hate that it even had to get to social media because we just personal business. Shouldn't even have to like this shit is just we look stupid.
Honestly and truthfully, but at the end of the day, I'm so tired of like not sticking up for myself when it comes to explaining because I've been thinking like we're a family at the end of the day. Like at, at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell my story times. I'm not gonna get online and bash this man in no way because at the end of the day, we family. But I see that this man, honestly, every chance that he get, he y'all go and look. Every chance that this man get the shit on me, it he will. And it's time that I open my eyes and stop fucking being the fucking nice guy at this point. Because the shit is getting so annoying. I feel like both of them doing that. Honestly. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, you got a problem with everything I do. And it don't even be that deep. I can't even say my son. I can't even say my son's schedule no more. Anyways. All in all. I'm done talking about it. I'm done being a nice person, though. It is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm not looking for no recognition. I don't need no motherfucker tell me I'm a great mom. Because I know that already. Like, but I'm just... He he really need to find himself safe, something something safe to do. Because this shit is getting annoying. <laughs> so, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. More videos, make sure y'all go and subscribe to Kaza channel. It will be in the description below right now. Posting the video very soon. It'll probably be posted tomorrow. So make sure y'all go and subscribe to Kaiser's World. We out. Peace. Period. Child, listen. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to stick beside me with what I said. She definitely shouldn't have said it how she said it. Fight me. Um, however, he, he should help pay for the school. Um, the only reason why I'm just kind of on the fence about that, because obviously that was her choice. And some people would say like, nah, if you want that school, then you pay for it. School's way cheaper than that. But if that's what you want, you got the 1500, you pay. And however, if that were the case, then he should be able to take his ass to school with no complaints, especially gas. I mean, nigga, if you ain't paying for the school and you ain't paying for, uh, it sound like nothing else. <laughs> You can pay some gas. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, if that were the case, if that is the case, you know what I'm saying? So absolutely, he need to pitch in. Um, it, it, Well, he just need to take him to school. He feeling like, nah, that's a mama thing. No, that's the breadwinner thing. She's, she is, uh, 555 in the chat. She's providing the, the, um, you know, the tools for the school and the, the money and all that. Nigga, go pick him up, drop him off. I think that's too much for his pride. He don't like that. You know what I'm saying? That fuck with his pride. Allegedly, if that is the case. Um, and both of them being petty. And, yeah, and they both do look stupid. You know, I done been there done that. So it is what it is. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. <clears throat> that's all I got to say. Germany, Belgium, um, Africa, uh, 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 Miami, or uh, a hysterectomy. I don't give a damn where it's at. She should be able to take her child wherever she want to if it's her week as well. And I said that, and for some reason, y'all on my dick about it. Fuck you. Yeah.